were aware of the elite meeting in their city. Hey guys, attention just for a second. I just need to tell you that a group just met here in Canada and they're trying to get rid of your sovereignty, merging you with the U.S. and Mexico. See, it, it's not funny, I'm serious. And your news isn't going to tell you about this. This is deadly serious. So I'm just letting you know and I'm telling you about it. As they say, they are the guys that run the world. They make the decisions for we and we just carry it out. Sir, did you hear about the Bilderberg Group meeting here in town? The 120 most elite people in the world? No. Hey, do you know that the elites meeting here in town right now? Have you heard about it? The 120 crime bosses? None of you heard of it. None of you guys have heard of the Bilderberg Group? They're meeting right now. In the city, around 10% of the people were aware of the New World Order agenda. When we traveled to Parliament, close to half of the people we randomly spoke to were informed. Ma'am, what did you say about the American Union? He said, it's, it's going to end up happening. We don't want it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Why do you think? Because the Bilderberg Group runs the world. You have the Trilateral Commission that's also part of the Bilderberg, which is the uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. But most of this is public knowledge. Nobody wants to believe that there are conspiracies, uh, that yeah. world leaders are already elected before they're voted on. Uh, so here we know that Bernard Lord uh, is part of the outer circle. Um, I, I was surprised to read that uh, Harper addressed the group in 2003 uh, because my understanding was nobody gets into politics without becoming a part of the Bilderberg group and then you find out afterwards that that is the case that they have. Well, yeah, well Bill Clinton went there in 91, George Bush Sr. back in like 85. And Blair, same thing, who we think that we're electing as leaders are, have already been pre-picked for us, whether it's liberal or a conservative, they're already part of the group. Uh, they own all the horses in the race. They own the horses, and I understand that, for example, in the United States, it's a one-party system with two factions, uh, though you think it's it's two different uh, parties. Oh, it is, yeah. So It's like Bill Clinton constantly vacations with the Bushes, and they call him their son, and they actually staged all that in 92, and all that's come out. It's just all staged. They're not going to let trillions of dollars slip through their hands. The good news is people are waking up, though. When you read human history, when you study it, all, all you see is elites trying to dominate, subterfuge, Machiavellian backstabbing. And somehow in the last 50 years, they convinced Westerners that the government's fine, can do no wrong, trust them. How did this happen? <laughs> it's easy to lead sheep. I mean, people just follow. They don't want to believe these things will happen. No way. We'll just follow along with the norm. That's all. It's just an makes it easier for everyone. What's your view on losing Canada's sovereignty? I like this country to stay as it is, and I love the United States to be there. Back in Austin, the capital of Texas, the public was frighteningly unaware of the nation's peril. Have you heard about the North American Union? Um, not really, no. I don't watch TV. No, I haven't. Interesting. I was not aware of that. I don't, I don't know exactly what you mean, so... Um, I don't think there's going to be a merger of the three nations. No, I have not. Uh, no. Uh, no, I, I didn't know. know this was happening, so... <laughs> no. Yes, I have. I oh, you have heard about it? Yes. Yeah. After that big rally the other day, don't know about it? I don't know about it. No, I have not. Have you heard of the European Union? I have, yes. <laughs> Are you aware of the European Union? Oh, yeah, of course. Have you heard about the European Union? Heard about them. Do you know about the European Union? No. Europe, 15 member group expanding. A what? 15 nations of Europe merging in 2000. Whatever. <laughs> For over 50 years, the Bilderberg Group constructed the European Union by stealth under the guise of trade deals. Now the elite are using the same secretive program to complete the North American Union. But this time, Superstate integration is on the extreme fast track. International agreements like NAFTA, GATT, and APEC were just stepping stones in the formation of the NAU.
The North American Union was officially born at Baylor University in Waco, Texas on March 23, 2005. The leaders of the United States, Mexico, and Canada told the press that they were only meeting to discuss trade. It soon leaked that a secret meeting had been held during the Security and Prosperity Trilateral Summit. The three governments had refused to release the secret agreement to the people. In September of 2006, their treasonous operation was blown wide open. From September 12th to September 14th in Banff, Canada, hundreds of elected and appointed government leaders from Canada, Mexico, and the United States met in secret. On the last day of the conference, someone inside the secret North American Union forum leaked the agenda. The front pages of newspapers across Canada carried the story. The Judicial Watch Foundation submitted Freedom of Information Act requests to obtain the full agenda and minutes of the secret assembly. Many federal agencies refused, citing national security. The foundation finally succeeded and did receive thousands of pages of documents. The documents marked unclassified are the blueprints of a shadow government ruling by bureaucratic and executive fiat. The pages chronicle an already operating North American Union. Transportation, law enforcement, agriculture, regulation, banking, manufacturing, construction, education, immigration, and even the military are being merged with no input from the people or their elected representatives in Congress and Parliament. One of the first items on their agenda was to stress how important it was that their plan, quote, be carried out by stealth. The controllers also talked about exploiting the public's fears of climate change to push a continent-wide tax to fund the new government. Globalist tool Robert Pasture is incessantly paraded on the world stage as the man behind the North American merger. When he testified before Congress, he pushed the idea of a continental security perimeter that erases national boundaries and merges the security apparatus. The best way to secure the United States today is not at our two borders with Mexico and Canada, but at the borders of North America as a whole. In fact, the North American Command, based in Colorado Springs, Colorado, was clearly running the meeting in Canada. For the past decade, the Pentagon has been training with Mexican and Canadian forces and has openly discussed using them inside the United States for disasters and to quell domestic unrest. There are already over 100,000 non-U.S. citizens serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. The Pentagon is now expanding its recruiting centers in Mexico, the Philippines, and Eastern Europe. Big city police departments nationwide are lobbying to change laws so they can recruit non-citizens to join the police force. What we are witnessing is a Red Dawn scenario in slow motion. Tyrants throughout history have brought in foreigners to oppress their domestic populations. When their coup by stealth was exposed, the three governments went into damage control mode. The Security and Prosperity Partnership quickly staged a show summit that was held in Ottawa, Canada in February of 2007. It is the only way that we can achieve a security and prosperity for our people is through this cooperation. We uh, actually occupy one physical space, the uh, North America. We've also had a chance as foreign ministers to talk about how we cooperate uh, in the region and indeed in the world. Protesters who were upset about losing their countries and freedoms were not tolerated. A couple of weeks ago, an Al-Qaeda supposed so ever, the Security and Prosperity Partnership has been Globalist publications have been open with their frustration that the population has not bought their latest PR stunt. As integration inside the European and American unions accelerates, the superstates themselves are being merged. On April 30th, 2007, a summit was held at the White House. The Security and Prosperity Partnership's secretive approach had alarmed the public. So this time, President Bush, German Chancellor Merkel, and EU Commission President Barroso hid their treachery in plain sight. Thank the Chancellor and Josie very much. 